Keep it honest in the presidential race, the war over who, if anybody, is waging a war on women is heating up, with Mitt Romney doubling down on a number that has many people scratching their heads. Here's what Romney said today in Delaware. The real war on women is being waged by the president's failed economic policies. Now, the president says, oh, I, I didn't cause this recession. That's true. He just made it worse and made it last longer. And because it lasted longer, more and more women lost jobs, such that in his three and a half years, 92.3% of the people who've lost jobs have been women. His failures have hurt women. Now, Romney's strategy is clear. For months, the Obama campaign has been accusing Republicans of waging war on women, and now Romney's trying to turn the tables. Here's why he's worried. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows President Obama with a 19-point lead among women voters, 57% versus 38%. CNN's polling shows a similar gap. For more than 24 hours now, in press releases and conference calls, the Romney campaign has been repeating that same striking statistic, 92.3% of what people who've lost jobs under President Obama are women. Now, it sounds alarming, and technically it's true, but it's also misleading. Here's why. To get the 92.3% figure, the Romney campaign compares net job losses for women and men between January 2009 and March 2012. Their math includes hundreds of thousands of jobs lost in the three weeks before President Obama took office. Since January 2009 was the biggest month of job losses in the recession, including those three weeks, tilts the picture. Here's another piece of context. Overall, men lost more jobs in the recession than women did, but most of their losses came before Mr. Obama took office, and those losses are not figuring into the Romney camp's calculations. So when the economy started growing, men began recovering their jobs faster than women. Economists say both patterns are typical in recessions. Joining me now, CNN contributors Paul Begala, Hillary Rosen, and Eric Erickson, editor-in-chief of RedState.com. So, Paul, the president's campaign manager sent a message to supporters today calling Mitt Romney, quote, the most anti-woman woman candidate in a generation. He's so anti-women, he spent a whole day focused on them. Is that really going to sway any votes? Well, I think they need to take the issues. Uh, and I think they can make the case. I mean, the, 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 the governor, uh, Reverend Romney, has said that he wants to, his quote, get rid of Planned Parenthood. Now, later he said, well, I just mean the funding. Well, you get rid of the funding, you'd get rid of a lot of Planned Parenthood clinics. He wants to uh, abolish uh, what's called Title X, which is birth control that the federal government pays for for underprivileged women. It saves lives, it saves money. It was created by George H.W. Bush, Bush Sr. when he was a congressman, signed into law by Richard Nixon. It used to be a Republican deal. That's a very extreme position. I don't know of a major political candidate, certainly not a nominee or a likely one, in 40 years who has ever called for doing away with all of the government's support for birth control for, for women. So yes, I think that is a, it's a, it's, it's something he can defend anyway. Eric, the Romney campaign is trying to use the Obama team's own language against them. They're accusing the president of waging an economic war on women but simply trying to combat a Democratic attack line with a questionable factoid, is that the best way to go about it? Well, I, I think they're going to have to push this. I mean, as you said, it is true that since Barack Obama became president, more women have lost their jobs, unfortunately, for the Romney campaign. It also has to be true of every recession, so they're going to have to work around that. Uh, at the same time, uh, this whole war on women rhetoric to me, it, it, it seems that it's going to play itself out. It's not having a dramatic impact in the polling. I think Mitt Romney's impact in the polling with women has a lot to do with other things. The negativity of the Republican race is seeming aloofness and inability to connect. In fact, in the Gallup poll released last week, 80% of women in swing states have no idea what his positions are on these issues. So it, it's hard to say that that is the impact. I, I think the problem is with metronomic precision, both candidates running for president now like to switch their positions. And so there's a lot of distrust across the board with both of them. Hillary, to the Romney campaign's point, though, they're focusing only on the economy. And that's what women overwhelmingly say they really care about right now in poll after poll. And whether it's a typical pattern or not, women are seeing jobs come back much more slowly than men are. Is there anything really wrong then with reaching out to women on, on an issue that they care about, on the economy. Well, first, could we just get rid of this word war on women? The Obama campaign does not use it. President Obama does not use it. This is something that, that the Republicans are accusing people of using, but they're actually the ones spreading it. With, with respect to economic issues, I think actually that uh, Mitt Romney's right, that ultimately women care more about the economic well-being of their families and, and the like. But there's... But but he doesn't connect on that issue either. What you have is is Mitt Romney running around the country saying, well, you know, my wife tells me that what women really care about are economic issues. And when I listen to my wife, that's what I'm hearing. Guess what? His wife has actually never worked a day in her life. She's she's never really dealt with the kinds of economic issues 
that a majority of the women in this country are facing in terms of how do we feed our kids, how do we send them to school, and, and, and how do we worry, and why do we worry about their future? So I think it's, yes, it's about these positions, and yes, I think there will be a, a, a war of words about the positions, but there's something much more fundamental about Mitt Romney. He just, he seems so old-fashioned when it comes to women, and I think that comes across, and I think that that's going to hurt him over the long term. He just doesn't really see us as equal. Eric, I want you to be able to respond to that. Well, if, I, I, I'm, I'm still hung up on, on the we Democrats haven't been using the war on women because I've been playing the clips of Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Nancy Pelosi and others using the they phrase war on that. women, I'm pretty sure. No, so, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's a Democratic talking point. I, I think the Democrats have used it. I think their, their political mouthpieces from MSNBC to Think Progress and elsewhere have used it. it. It's clear that that's what the Democrats want to talk about is, is this war on women. I do think Mitt Romney is going to have problems relating to women. He is going to have problems relating to men, but those problems are going to be about him being able to relate to people in general. And frankly, if the economy goes down, I don't really think it's going to matter. More and more, we're seeing small businesses saying they don't even want to hire headed into next year. And that's going to be a problem, Thanks, not sir. for Mitt Romney, but for Barack Obama. Uh, Paul, I want to give you the final thought. H how big, I, I mean, do you think, do you believe that President Obama appeals to women more than, than Mitt Romney does? Yeah, I, I think, uh, just speaking as a guy, I think the three most powerful words that any politician can say to anybody, but I think especially a man talking to women, is, I get it. Like, that's what Bill Clinton said to a woman in Richmond, Virginia, during the presidential debate in 1992, when she asked Bush about the national debt. He said, right. I get it. And, and Mitt just doesn't get it, and I think the president does. And I, I think there's, you want to know an issue that's going to come. It's Romney's record as a businessman. Okay? He says right. that he was a turnaround artist. When he was at Bain Capital, fewer yeah. than 10% of his vice presidents were women. He had an abysmal record about hiring and promoting women. He ran an all-boys club there at, at, at his business when he had the power to lift women up and give them economic opportunity, and that, that's going to hurt okay. him a lot in this election. Uh, we've got to leave there. Paul Begala, Hillary Rose, and Eric Erickson. Appreciate it. Thank you. Syrian government says it's going to meet a UN-backed deadline to stop all military action tomorrow. Still, activists say at least 98 people were killed in new violence today. Details ahead.